Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So, Berta Style has some new patterns. So we are going to go through them together today. Um, I think so, yeah, all these are a bunch of kids patterns. There's a men's jacket and pants and shirt. And then these really cute maternity clothes. So if you know anyone who's pregnant or you're pregnant yourself, um, go check those out for sure. But we are just going to focus on the women's non-pregnant <laughs> patterns, I guess. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Special occasion dress. Okay. Now, Berta is always one of those that I'm like, uh, I guess on the fence about. They can be a little weird, especially in the styling. But so I always try and look for, you know, the style lines and try and ignore maybe some of the fabric choices that they make. So that's what we're going to do with this one <laughs> to start. Um, also, we have Simplicity's funky website still. So bear with me as, you know, I try and deal with that. But all right. So we have got, it looks like a princess seamed bodice, a few darts in this little skirt, um, an interesting you know, waist seam, two different links, and this little overlay jacket thing. Um, and it looks like it's meant for laces and sheer fabrics. Um, do they have any of that here? Where's the English? Yeah, so satin, lace, Satin and lace are what they recommend. Here are some more pictures. This one here with like, I don't know, maybe it's a brocade or something is really beautiful and flattering. And I also love this little notch here. I wonder if it's boned or, so we have interfacing, yeah, boning tape, invisible zipper, uh, maybe some kind of like trim can't figure out what that is, and maybe that's bias tape? I'm not sure. <laughs> Pictionary with sewing notions is a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, it's really cute if you're looking for, like, I mean, this would be great at a wedding or, you know, any kind of, you know, event like that. And then, of course, you could make it into a wedding dress if you wanted. I guess this thing must be like a bust cup, but still, I don't know. Um, and then to like make it a little bit more modest, you could add this little shrug thing. That must be the bias tape that they're referring to for that. Oh, maybe that's a button. I don't know. Either way. Um, and then there it is in the longer length. So I usually don't have a place to wear fancy things like that. Um, plus I don't love a pencil skirt for myself either. So moving on. Next we have this sportswear pattern. Um, it looks like a top or dress slash tunic. Um, interesting, like, sleeves. It's not, it's just like a couple of rectangles, it looks like, sewn together with a third rectangle as a belt. The top is cute. It's a little short. If I remember correctly, all their stuff is a little bit short-waisted. But that's an easy adjustment to make. Um, oh, is it made for knits? Oh, it's knits. Okay. So that's why you have your double needle there to finish off your edges. Or if you have a um, cover stitch machine, obviously, you could use that too. So, yeah. Tunic version here. And you can see that this is a really great option for stripes because... The ones along the top and sleeve will all go horizontally, and then all the other ones would run vertically. But it looks to me like they use two different fabrics here. No, no, no. It's the same one. Yeah, it's just horizontal. So, you know, great play on stripes there. Here's another um, good example where you can see the stripe running horizontally here and then vertically here. So that's really fun. Oh, y'all wanted to see the sizes. Okay. So I guess 8 through 18 is your only size option. 8 through 18. I wonder 
Does this have size chart? Four inches? No. So, <laughs> sorry about that. That's weird. Well, what does 8 to 18 equate to? Hold on. Oh, back ordered already? Jeez. Envelope back. Let's see. Yeah, even that just has the centimeters. Well, that's annoying. All right, so sorry for those of you that are looking to see what the sizes go up to. Um, I guess you could try and do a conversion. I think one of these is supposed to be inches, but it's not. It, they're both the centimeters, right? Oh, no, version A, version B. I don't know. I can't, I can't make heads or tails of that. Okay, next, let's see if this one has. No, same thing. Oh, this is w fabric widths. So yeah, you could just do a conversion. But even that just tells you how much fabric you need. It, the website doesn't have any sizing information on it at all, other than that it's available 8 or 18. So maybe somewhere else on here on the website. You'd have to find that somewhere else. So today we'll just look at the style lines and if you see something you like, um, I, I'm assuming they'll all be 8 through 18 and you can go and see if that would accommodate your measurements. Okay, wrap dress. Here we go. All right, so we have a, yeah, a wrap dress, but I like this little scoop that it has. You know, some wrap dresses are just straight across. So this one has a little bit of design here, which is nice. The sleeves or straps, those look and don't just look like regular spaghetti straps to me. Can you zoom in anymore? No. Are they tied or twisted? Something else is going on up there, right? Um, let's see if this, yeah, it looks like they're twisted ties. Also, this is made for a two-way stretch jersey. Um, okay, and princess seemed bodice, which is nice. I'm also thinking this isn't a true wrap dress, meaning it doesn't wrap around your entire body, but I mean, maybe it does. It's hard to tell from these drawings. But the twisty straps, that's kind of cool and fun and different, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it does wrap around your whole body. It looks like they got a really good stretch on it here, um, which is nice because that way you can get it. It's like a cheater way of getting this um, bodice piece to fit which is nice. I love the maxi version. That is really pretty. Yeah, really nice. I like that a lot. Okay, now we have a pinafore dress, they're calling it. I don't know what makes it a pinafore dress. It looks like a fit and flare with a pleated skirt pockets princess seams also with darts now that is a really lovely detail and look at the back style line we'll get some pictures of the back but the one with the sleeveless version has this really beautiful back sorry about that um looks like they're both the same length and pleated skirts yeah this is really cute i don't know if this is purchased or ribbon trim or what let's see yeah ribbon trim invisible zipper interfacing and some kind of lining remnant i'm not exactly sure what that means or what it's for but cotton fabrics crepe rayon or viscose or jacquard i mean really any kind of like i mean honestly any kind of woven or even a stable knit would work for this here are our style lines again with that beautiful scoop. I love the kind of square neckline with the wide set um, 
straps. That's really nice. And it looks like it's, did it say lining? Lining remnant. I don't know what that means. So I can't tell if it's fully lined or not, or if that's just a facing. But here are our pictures again. I love the coral fabric. Very nice. Cute, right? Just my style. Okay, here's our back for the strapless version. So cute. So flattering. Love that. And then here's the back for the other one. Look at that fit they got. Dang, that's nice. Perfect. Love that one. All right, now we have a side pleat skirt, which is just what you would think. It's um, a skirt with a pleat on either side. Front and back have this kind of deep pleat. Um, let's see what we've got notion wise. Interfacing, uh, bias tape or trim, not really sure. Invisible zipper. And they're recommending, do y'all know what rep fabric is? Jacquard, cotton fabrics, blends. Yeah, something kind of sturdy to hold that pleat. It doesn't look like it has belt carriers. They just put the belt on it. And then this one, they, maybe that's so on. Maybe it's tied in the back. I'm not sure, but that's just like ribbon trim. But yeah. Cute little skirt, it looks like a side zipper there. And yeah, it looks like the ribbon trim is designed to be sewn on. That's what that is there. And this is the plain waistband. Cute. All right, and also so far so good on the fabric choices for the most part, I'm like really digging those. Okay, we have an inverted pleat skirt now. So, multiple pleats on front and back and they show it in a drapey fabric and also a more stable fabric and you can tell how the stable one flares out and the drapey one falls close to the body this is what i'm always talking about looking at these like pattern um, covers and whatnot and why fabric choice is so important for them um, because it really does i mean it can make a big difference if you want like a huge flared skirt, but you use a drapey fabric, there's just no way. It's just going to fall. That's just how it works. Anyways, so two really cute options here. I like this self-tie also. Um, but interfacing, invisible zipper, rayon, cotton, linen. I mean, I think you could make, any, make this out of any woven fabric. And that's what they were trying to show with that pattern cover. But um, you've got little side pockets here and two lengths, middle back zipper, and it looks like four pleats, uh, two on each panel. And then here's your self tie, and then here's your plain waistband. I actually really like the midi length on this one. Look how cute those shoes are too. Um, because it's so light and flowy and drapey, I think that it doesn't overwhelm even someone who's not, you know, six feet tall, like inevitably this girl is. But here is your cotton version with a little bit more flair. Now, I don't know if they give instructions for border prints. It didn't say border prints in the fabric description, so I'm not sure if there will be specific instructions for a border print or not, but that's what that is. If you wanna try and replicate that, cute. Okay, now we have another, yet another skirt. Okay, we have a wrap skirt. It looks like uh, portions of a circle, like the whole thing together would be a circle skirt, but they chopped it up into these panels and made it a little bit, you know, cross over itself half a time so that you could have the wrap. Pretty basic, I guess. 
Yeah, rayon cotton crepe. Here's our line drawings. Basic, basic. This would be a great beginner pattern if any of you out there are just learning to sew. I think this would be a great option. Um, there are no closures. There might be like some snaps on the inside maybe, or maybe this, maybe there's like a buttonhole or something on the side for the tie to, um, to be inserted through to wrap around. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure how the construction works, but you know, there's no zipper or anything like that. So I think that would be a great beginner. Super easy. They're calling it. Okay. Now we've got a dress with waistband. Oh, wow. Uh, I think it's a drop waist. Um, it looks like even in the drawings, it's a little bit low. Like uh, this line here would be at your natural waist and this would be below your waist. And then, so, I mean, I, I prefer a waistband to be at the natural waist. It's the smallest part of you. That's where you want to draw the attention. Um, but if you have more of a straight figure, this will give you a waist. So there's that. <laughs> um, but it's very easy to shorten the bodice and put this where you'd like it to be. But I don't think that these are sewn or I don't think these are ill-fitting. Um, I think that this is how they're designed to sit lower on the waist. You know, two different girls and they fit them both similar, similarly. And then you can see here just how long the bodice looks and also how long these darts are in the back. But you have two skirt versions. It looks like this one's gathered and knee length. Um, and then this one is just straight. So more of a rectangle. If you have like hips, this probably won't work for you. Um, if it, if you wanted it to, it, yours would just curve out and then in a little bit more and be less straight up and down, but it does have a couple little darts here for some shaping at least. And then a little sleeve with the band neckline darts in the back. Here we can look at those a little bit closer. Well, I don't know. This one does look like it's sitting at the waist. I don't know. Clearly, though, these are below their natural waist. I mean, her natural waist is like right here. So. Same with this girl. Her natural waist is a little bit above this, too. Cute hair, though, right? All right. Let's see what's next. Wrap dress, okay. I feel like so far we've really just gone back to basics with this collection. Normally they're kind of known for like really, not avant-garde or anything, but kind of like, you know, heavy focus on design details. And I feel like so far all of these are pretty basic which I don't know if I like that or not. I mean, you kinda, I kind of go to Berta for those funky little details, but okay. So we have, it's like a shirt dress that wraps. And you have a contrast waistband with a huge bow, which y'all know I love that, and a contrast hemband, or you have this um, slimmer version with no contrast. Okay. Some snaps, some buttons, interfacing. They recommend poplin, cotton, sateen, uh, viscose, rayon. Yep. Okay. Here's our line drawings. I don't know what I think about the idea of a shirt dress wrap kind of like without any of the buttons, you know, it kind of like takes away the traditional details of an actual button down, but 
another part of me is like, that's actually a really cool kind of twist on it. Um, this isn't an actual wrap dress, meaning this is all sewn, I'm assuming. And this isn't something that would fly open or, you know, loosen over time with wear. Um, that is going to stay like this the whole time. These are all sewn down. The, the overlaps are sewn down. Yeah, I'm a little on the fence with it in the white, the color blocking. This one with the print is better. I'm a little annoyed that they pinned this, it looks like, because I think that's like cheating. I think it should fit well enough that you don't have to do that. But, you know, with a fit model and all that inevitability, I guess they felt like they needed to do that. All right, Mrs. Quilted Jacket. Okay, things are getting a little funkier. So you have a vest with a hood. <laughs> See how they just put it over that last dress we were looking at? So interesting. Okay, and then this is just like a princess seamed jacket with a little mock collar. This gives me like you know, jogging vibes, not like outerwear, not like a jacket necessarily. So that's why I think it's confusing to put it over this. But I guess depending on, I mean, whatever fabric you chose. Um, so we have some separating zippers, a regular zipper interfacing, bias tape, like double fold bias tape maybe. And then their only suggestion is quilted fabrics. So pre-quilted, they bought this like that, all quilted like that. It does look a little bit more dressy um, up close. Like this velvet trim and all that is much nicer. But I also don't like when they belt things that don't come with a belt because then you can't see the actual shape of it. They're make they're altering the shape by cinching in with the belt. And even here it's unzipped so it's a little bit hard to see but a little bit so it's still hard to see but a little bit easier. Here's a version where no belt all zipped up so you can see how close fitting it is. Yeah so you've just got this like you know trim going all around the, the arm opening too on the vest. And then there's her hood. Little drawstring. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Not feeling like that is something that would, that I need to have in my wardrobe, I guess. This is cute. So we've got a jacket. I guess this is kind of hard to make heads or tails of what's happening here. Look at these line drawings. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so funny. How comfy, right? Don't you want this for your next airplane or train ride? Can't you imagine that in some like really soft fabric just keeping you nice and cozy? I cannot understand what this is. I'm thinking based on this that it's like this attached like loose panel that you can throw around, tie, do whatever you need to do to make it um, cozy and comfy. I kind of dig this, but look at this. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> the little arms coming out. Oh, like a little cartoon character. So stretch fabrics only. Jersey, knits, boucle, I mean, really any. I can imagine this being a dream in like a rayon French terry or sweatshirt fleece even. You can find some really nice lightweight jerseys these days that are nice and cozy and comfy. I just can't get over those drawings. But I guess, I mean, that is what it is. So... You can see how you just sew a little band into this hole and that becomes your your armhole. It doesn't even look super complicated to make. I wish they showed the back, but um, you just have a series of bands, you know, finishing off the edges 
If you have a serger, I bet you can whip this up in no time. Here, this is boucle, some kind of boucle knit. So you get more of like a sweater vibe from it, I guess. I really like this. This, this is definitely a top contender for purchase. All right, jacket with tie belt. Oh, meh, okay. So, I mean, the 80s have called and they want their dynasty cardigan <laughs> back. But, so, yeah, um, well, let's see. So they, yeah, it's a, it's a double breasted cardigan. That's really all there is to it. Um, it overlaps along the front. You can buy trim to trim it out and have these big patch pockets, or you can use this belt, but it still, you know, overlaps. So I'm just trying to think that even if it didn't have like the red, white, and blue with the gold, you know, would could you elevate this to look a little bit more modern? And I'm thinking no. Even this is just modern fabric, but it's just a robe. Just a robe. Not a fan. All right. Next up, peplum jacket. Oh, those are two things I really love to see together. I love a peplum jacket so much. All right. So this one is... It looks like one of them has a little collar and one of them does not. And then maybe some kind of band with maybe trimming. It's hard to tell from, from just this, but style lines are super cute. I love that it zips. Yeah, so you have your purchase trim. You have a knit band, it looks like. Shoulder pads, I guess interfacing separating zipper fabric recommendation are lightweight knits firm jersey or sweatshirting firm knits maybe like uh any kind of like double knit so this might be like a boucle knit maybe and then you can buy these cuffs already made these bands and then they Bought some like trim with feathers, maybe. This one looks a little oversized, where this one looks like it's kind of fitted. So that's confusing. I don't know. Well, this one also doesn't have the peplum. So maybe that is why, because through here it is bigger. But they do have like really beautiful style lines, you know, these princess seams here and in the back also. So that's nice. I do like the peplum one a lot. Um, and I actually think making that out of a sweatshirt fleece with the band detailing too would be really cute with a peplum. You know, a different take on like a zip up. Here, this is most definitely a double knit. So they're not super stretchy like Jersey is, um, but they are knits. So they're definitely comfortable and warm. Cute, right? Okay. Next, jogging pant. Oh, Lord, okay. So... Okay, so yeah, here's her pant with an elasticized cuff like Hanes sweatpants. Um, or you have this drawstring version with no elastic on the ankle. But she's also like not going running. She's like definitely going out. Or, I mean, who knows? I wouldn't run in those shoes, but what do I know? <laughs> Um, this girl looks like she's probably going to work out, but yeah, I just, yeah, no. There you go. There's your drawstring elastic. 
sweatshirting or firm jersey. Okay. And okay. Y'all good on that? <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Next page. Mrs. High Waisted Pant. Okay. So paper bag waist. Yep, paper bag waist. Some pleats in the front. There is a front fly. Um, these are ankle length and these are cuffed. Um, and it looks like there are instructions to make your own belt, which is kind of cool. This is super cute too. Um, yeah, there's like belting. I could get behind this. I've seen this look. Um, it's very on trend. Very cute. Yep. But I see how also it's not for everyone. Um, a little bit uh, like highly, it's just trendy, you know, if you're not into like the trendy stuff, then I could see why you would not be a fan. Um, let's see what fabrics. Gabardine, lightweight wools, blend. So really kind of like suiting fabrics. I do wish they showed the backs. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I missed it the first time around. So you've got this kind of like a long dart. Uh, just one though. And this one has a welt pocket. Just a single welt pocket, which is, that's cute too. I really like the paper bag waist a lot. All right, Mrs. Wrap Top. Oh, okay. So a couple different sleeve options and yeah, it looks like it wraps around and through the underside of the front. So it's like a true wrap top. That's cool. Here's our line drawings made of Jersey. I like this one with this little ruffle here. I think the ruffle would look good on this version too, right here, it would also look really nice. But this is where the you can see the belt kind of, there's like a large hole in the side seam that the belt goes through. So that's neat. And then you tie it on the side, yeah. Super cute. I'd imagine you could also lengthen this into a dress if you wanted. It wouldn't be too hard to do that. All right, a Mrs. Top. It looks like we've got some like color blocking or at least some different options with matching patterns. Or you've got just a plain one. This also looks like knit again. Um, very simple. Dolman, this is like, I mean, it, it's got a center front seam and a center back seam. So there's like four, four pieces to this plus the belt. Um, if you're making this version, then you've got these other ones, but um, it's very straightforward, very simple. Yeah, knit again, jersey. Okay. So you can make it into a long tunic with some, you know, you don't have to mix and match the fabrics. You could do it all in one if you wanted, or, you know, you could make this out of a sheer. That would be cute. Um, like maybe a lace or something. And then here's the regular one. That's also cute. I think that the belt is, yeah, attached in the back. So that's nice. She didn't really even tie it. It's just kind of like looped. I don't know how long that would stay closed. All right, raglan top. 
Yep, raglan sleeves. This one has little like pleats in it. Uh, actually they all do. I think that they're all the same except for the sleeves. So you got a flutter sleeve, you've got this like peasant sleeve or just a regular long sleeve. Uh, the front has the darts and the back does not. Made of, you guessed it, jersey. Yep. Here are our line drawings, fronts and backs. And then here are our girls individually. That's a cool fabric. Self bias on the neckline and the little sleeve. There you go. Just like little t-shirts basically. Which I mean this month first on my style is t-shirts so you could get a lot of inspiration from these patterns. Okay this is Mrs. Shirts. So we've got maybe is that a bateau neckline with a long sleeve. This one has a long sleeve with like a little ruffle cuff and then this is short sleeve. Again with our two-way stretch jersey. Here are our style lines. And our mock-ups. I do really love that Berta style makes multiple versions. That I love that. And then they get them on a model so you can see them on a person. I love that a lot about their patterns. Okay, Mrs. Shirt. Um, this looks like a woven, finally. Um, yeah, it's like a button down. You either have a hidden placket, which P.S. This is so cute and so on trend. This like faux tuxedo. Um, and the way they've styled it and made it a little bit more casual. If you wore it with those um, paper bag waist pants, would be also super cute. Or just with jeans. And then this version has like this little eyelet overlay. So, what in the world is this? You only need three of them. I have no idea what that, what that is. It's not bust cups like I thought it might be. It's not buttons, because there's your seven buttons. I don't know, anybody guesses? Um, this goes rayon, lightweight cotton, crepe fabrics, shirting fabrics would also be included in here. And then for your overlay, um, embroidered fabric, eyelet, lace, sheer, anything along those lines. I do love this tuxedo version a lot. Great little take on a um, button down for sure. Here she is again. And like the lighter weight and drapier this white part of the fabric is, the more stylish I think it is. Even if this were in like a crepe. I think that that would be even more on trend. Having a crisp shirting is a little bit um, like, it's a difference between like a really stylish version and like looking like a cater waiter, you know? And then here's your fun summery, you know, eyelet overlay version. Also cute in its own right. Okay, Mrs. Shirt with V-neck. Okay, another button down. Uh, looks like a maybe a drop shoulder with like a band. Maybe not a drop shoulder though. Although maybe I don't know. I can't tell with all this plaid. Then you have a button down. You have this really nice curved hem. Um, it looks like you've got bust darts. And then in this version, you even have vertical fisheye darts, which is nice. And then this one has a little collar. Um, you can see those lines here. Fabrics are rayon, lightweight cotton, or crepe fabrics. Oh, and then you also have this shorter version here too. So the other version has a straight hem. It was tucked in the, in the picture before. 
cute, very maybe 50s. And here she is in hers. Sweet, right? And not super complicated. This would be a great introduction into a button down. Um, because it doesn't have the, you know, the typical collar stand and all of that. Um, even this one is just a sewn-in collar, no collar stand. So yeah. Very cute. All right, Mrs. Top with fitted waist. Ooh. This is fun. So, drop shoulder for sure. Uh, front, two, those are more like pleats. Op two, they're both open-ended on each, they're open on each end. And then one has sleeves with little side slits and no collar and this one has no sleeve and a little stand like mock collar there's that silly notion again uh, viscose rayon crepe lightweight cottons linen I mean you can tell here the difference between a crepe and how that fits and drapes and looks and this is more of a cotton where it's a little bit more sturdy um, a little bit more structured a little bit more like a like a jacket honestly um, here's our so I'm thinking that this is a button with a shank instead of a button with your four or two holes this is a shank to button because on the back you have your neckline button here with a little loop. So yeah, this is super cute. And would definitely give you, um, you know, beautiful waist shaping and would help you see the benefits of all that waist shaping too. You know, I'm always harping on freaking waist shaping in um, shift dresses and um, this is, this is definitely a version of that. So, in fact, you could even lengthen this one by, I don't know, seven more inches and you'd have a dress. So, I mean, it's a little covered up, you know, but. I'd say this one's a little straight jackety, <laughs> a little bit. I do like it in the lighter weight fabrics a little bit better. But you could cut a neckline into this. That wouldn't be difficult to do. Okay, now we have side tie top. Side tie top. That's kind of hard to say. Whoa. Eek. Okay. Um, well, well, here is a drop shoulder with a little sleeve and a little tab. This is like a rolled sleeve. You've got a little neckline band type thing. You've got a belt and then side slits. And then this is just, I don't even know what. I mean, maybe I would wear that to yoga, but definitely not, no, not for me. Not for me, <laughs> not for me at all. Oh, okay. And it's more, it's less of a drop shoulder, more of like a full on dolman. Look how long that is. And they don't make it look that long here, but okay. So you've got, yeah, your little D rings for the sleeves here for version A. Cotton fabrics, viscose rayon, linen, silk. Yeah, silk would be really nice. Yeah, it's just not, you know, it's okay. I don't love how the wrong side shows and it's like not a pretty wrong side. Um, yeah, this is a no, hard no on that. 
All right, next up, they've got a lot of patterns. Mrs. Blouse with Yoke. Okay, this is cute. Yeah, I love this little um, tunic version a lot. Okay, so it looks like this is like a high-low hem that's like a little bit shorter than a tunic. Um, and then this is your longer tunic length, but both of them have this yoke on it with like maybe, well, this one has gathering and no sleeves. And this one is not gathered, has sleeves, and is finished with like some kind of like self-bias tape. It also has a hidden button placket where this one's exposed buttons. Here's your, I mean, that definitely version A has Oh, I don't, a shanked button, I guess. And then here's your regular buttons. Viscose rayon silk crepe fabrics. And then version A also has this lace. So here's a really good photo to show you the high-low hem. Yeah, I don't know that I would do this in like silk and lace. That's a, giving me a little bit like, um, you know, mother of the bride. Which, but I, with that said, though, if you were to wear this to a wedding, I think it would be really, really nice. But for like every day, um, I'm thinking eyelet and denim, like or eyelet and chambray would be super cute. Um, or even just like a sheer in, instead of the lace. And then here's this other version. Very sweet. Very, just seems very wearable to me. Oops. Yeah, they're both really cute. Okay, Mrs. Dress. So very few seams again. Very basic, but you've got, I mean, this version has three pattern pieces. A front and then a back, a front cut on the fold, a back cut, and then a self belt. This one has two pattern pieces. <laughs> so, I mean, it would be great for border prints or any kind of ombre fabric or, you know, if you were really trying to accomplish something with a very special fabric you had found, this would be a great option for that. Actually, I do have a fabric in my stash that is like a panel um, where I need it to not have a waist seam. But you can tell that, you know, it's got the... Um, Dolman sleeves and cut in and then out a little bit for your waist. I mean for your hip. So I mean it does have a little bit of shape and maybe in the back center seam there's some shaping built in there. I'm not sure but um, this version has a little slit in the back and this one has two slits on the side. So I, I just don't know that this will be very flattering on um, pair shapes like me but they are recommending cotton fabrics, viscose, rayon, crepe, and blends. Yeah, without any stretch in it, I don't know that I could get this to look very good on me. But um, if you've got an hourglass figure or um, straight, like that's pretty much what she is, straight up and down. Um, you can get it to look pretty good. This is... This is where that slit ends, and you guys, that is showing. If you were looking at this from the side, you'd see her butt for sure. Look how look how high that is. Oof. So be a little leery, leery of that. Okay. Mrs. Dress with lapels. Oh, it's like a one of those trench coat dresses. Yep. Very trendy. Very, very trendy. Okay, so you've got your princess seams, double-breasted, belt carriers. You've got this lapel collar, um, self-belt. And then this version is missing the buttons and has a um, little short sleeve with a maybe a cuff. And like a, this belt like has a buckle and this belt just ties. Those are the main differences, I think. 
yeah so you can see all that here cotton fabric scabardine blends obviously suiting um you know anything in that nature anything like a like a shirt dress or a suit so there she is it's very cute here are backs with some beautiful seaming there very nice you can see the belt carriers there too cute all right now we've got a mrs sheath dress all right i'm feeling good it's a sheath dress with a waistband. I always thought, well, I always thought sheath dresses did not have a waistband, but now I'm thinking a sheath dress is just anything with like a fitted top and bottom. Is that accurate? Let me know in the comments. Um, and maybe shift dress is what I'm thinking of that does not have a waistband. Is that the difference between sheath and shift? Let me know. But it has this really cool horizontal seam here, which I really like. Um, center front seam, waist seam, and it's even got darts um, going up into the bodice and down into the skirt. This version has you know this high slit and this super cool belt. They really love getting you to make your own belts. I really like that. Um, I think it provides such a tailored, finished, expensive look to make your own belt out of the same fabric as the dress. I love that. Crepe fabrics, boucle, and blends. Here's our front and back. Very nice. This is a boucle, like Chanel. There it is without the belt. You can see all the seaming there, really nice. And then here's this lady. Very pretty. All right bell-shaped skirt see what that's about bell aka flare is it gathered I'm thinking it's just a gathered skirt this one's cute with the little ties on the side though and this one has like a little tie buckle thing you can see them there side pockets cotton fabrics and blends are what are recommended Oops, don't know what I just did there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think I just saved it to my computer. Cute. Yeah, it's just a gathered skirt with a waistband and then some little, like, little waistband details. Super cute. All right, then we have this jumpsuit. Oh, would you look at that? There's like no waistband at all. They cinched it in with this belt. This version has an elasticized waist though. So it gives it some shape. But still pretty slouchy and I mean young. Just young. I don't particularly love uh, this kind of neckline anyways where it's like straight across like that especially with straps just sticking out of it i like you know when they kind of blend together more and to me it's just more flattering but here's this the straps are also a little long and this is also a little big but sure does look comfortable there it is with the belt 
and here's this one. They recommend Jersey Knits for this. You need some elastic and that's it. There's really not much to it at all. I mean, I'd wear this around the house, I guess. All right, now we've got, how many more? You guys, this is never going to end. <laughs> this is gonna be like the longest video ever. Okay, moving right along, pull on jogging pant. Oof, my goodness. I mean, I don't know anybody that looks good in a Jersey high-waisted jogging pant. This one here with the wide waistband is a little bit better, I guess. Oh man, I don't even know about looking through the rest of this. The drawings look better than, than this. And maybe if you're like, 15 years old like this girl is you've got to figure that <laughs> this would look good in this just I can't imagine that being very flattering even if you are hanging out around home like you still want to look cute and like feel good in what you're wearing okay we're gonna move quickly through this one. Oh gosh uh we've got a, another pant and I'm going to uh re resist calling them harem pants because I don't, I'm not necessarily sure that, that is culturally accurate. Um, but drop crotch is another way to say it. Um, so that's a, a video for another day, but for now we'll just call them drop crotch pants. Um, and I think this is shirred waistband. Um, and all these lines you see are just I think the way the fabric is printed, it's not, those aren't seams. I don't think. Um, so you've got, I guess this means this one is just more drapey than this one is. I don't know the difference between, or is it longer? Maybe they're longer. Yeah, these are like ankle length and these are like upper calf. Um, elastic, uh, I guess this means some kind of trim, elastic thread to do the shirring, and viscose rayon, lightweight cotton fabrics, lightweight linen. They even have these little tabs on this one with these pockets and a long belt with tassels on the end. I mean, I want to like them because I know they're very trendy and you can make them cute. Like this is not awful, but I don't know. Also, I think I want to like them because they just look so darn comfortable. Oh, this one has sizes 16 through 20, also a back ordered till the end of this month. Okay, Mrs. Hoodie. We have, okay, these are cute. I love this color blocked one a lot. Like a lot, a lot, more than I should. And this one with the little kangaroo pocket, yes. And this one has just like a really high funnel neck that gets all scrunched down. This whole outfit I'm totally in love with. Okay. Sweatshirting with rib knit bands. Okay. Oh, the interesting part about this, and this is they actually did pull it off on their sample, is that for this color, you need, like let's say this is black, you need black cuff. And then if this is white, then you need a white cuff here. So you have to buy two separate colored cuffs to match your color blocking. So a little attention to detail there for sure. This one has um, matching cuffs and uh, waistband and uh, 
neckline, and even this thing um, are all the same. And this one doesn't have any cuffs. So here's our fronts and backs. Pretty straightforward bodice. Um, just the color blocking and the, you know, the different neckline options with the hood or the neck band or this funnel collar. So here's our sweatshirt and you can see it looks like they used self fabric actually. So yeah, that's obviously a much easier way to do it. But very collegiate, um, very uh, varsity, all of that very much on trend. This one's just super cute, right? I mean, um, maybe like even Kate Spade or I don't know, it just looks very ready to wear. Um, and, you know, solid color ribbing like this is very easy to find online. And then you have that version there. Cool. I like that one. 8 through 18. Also on back order. Geez, someone really came and bought up all these fab all these patterns already. Okay. Top with sleeve frills. That's <laughs> what it says. So let's see the frills. All right. So you've got a basic tank top. And then you either have this super cute bow. Love that. A couple different layers of ruffles here. Or this like exposed shoulder with a little ruffle cuff. Cute. I'm pretty sure these are knits. Yep, to a stretch jersey. I like them all. What do you guys think? Super cute. I wonder if th this would qualify for the So My Style t-shirt thing. I would wear the crap out of that. I love that it's polka dot. They did a great job matching those together. Here is our other one. Bias finish neckline here. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I might just, you know, tuck it under and use my cover stitch, but. Cute. And then here's the one with the. So they even did a little rolled hem here to make it nice and frilly. Very cute. Yeah, that's it. You don't need any notions or anything. Love that one. Um, now we have a baby doll top. Cute. I love a baby doll top. Oh, and an eyelet. Come on. So it's got like this yoke thing and then gathered bodice and, you know, very just wide and loose fitting. Um, this one has like a maybe a bishop sleeve with the elastic on the bottom. But this one has this really, really cute little ruffle. Okay, lightweight cotton fabrics, crepe, viscose rayon. So you need elastic, you need a button, you need some trim. And I don't know what that is. Sorry. Pictionary. Uh, okay, so here is the long sleeve version. Are those watermelons? And then here's the white. It's not even eyelet. It's like a, I don't know, embroidered cotton maybe. But look at this little trim they added to the bottom. So cute. Maybe that's what's here too. Here are our drawings. Cute. Cute, cute. All right, ballet neckline dress. Does that just mean scoop neckline? I don't know what a ballet neckline is. I've never even heard of that. But you've got a scoop neck, a couple little darts, little bust darts, high waisted, empire waist, long drapey, kind of like a nightgown, to be honest. Um, so, you know, fabrics are critical here. This one has a little sheer overlay and this one does not. 
um, little sleeves with a maybe a button band I can't tell it's some kind of band so you need a little zipper for the back and some elastic for the sleeve maybe or the waistband I don't know where the elastic goes um, satin tool cotton fabrics crepe fabrics are what they're recommending Cute. I do like this version and I think it would be really pretty in some like nude pink cream like tone on tone something you know cute and then here she is again and here she is as much as I love that they make two versions, I wish they showed pictures of the backs more often other than the line drawing. I wish they, I mean, obviously they're there. She's dressed. Just have her turn around and snap another picture real quick. You know? But anyways, yeah, it is a very deep and wide scoop. So just be mindful of that. All right, now we have Mrs. Bare Shoulder Dress. Okay. Yeah, it's just a halter, right? Isn't that all that is? So this one comes up into some bias that ties on either shoulder. And this one has a little band. I'm not a very big fan of this. We've got bus darts. We've got a little bit of gathering on the front and the back. And recommended cotton, lightweight denim, viscose rayon. You need some trim, some zipper, some whatever that is, <laughs> and interfacing. Yeah, this feels a little, um, well, young and, I don't know, like homemaker-y. This one's a little bit better, but still not, yeah, I don't love it. Cool earrings, though. All right, next up, Mrs. Shirt Dress. And not a shirt dress like a button down, like a legitimate t-shirt dress. I want this to look good on me, but I know that it won't. But how cute is it? <laughs> it's so cute. So you've either got one with this hood and this elastic on the bottom, which you don't have to tie that tight. You could, you could let it out some. Um, a little rolled cuff, which, you know, okay. And then this version has a little sleeve. It has drop waist, drawstring thing, and then a neckband. I mean, it's young. I know it's young, but I want to like it. Or I want to be young enough to the, so that I can pull this off, but I don't think that I am. Maybe if you got like the right kind of knit, it would look a little bit more. I mean, this, I feel like I see this at Ann Taylor Loft all the time. That's not a big deal. Anybody can pull that off. Um, but this one is the one that's so cute with the hoodie and the hem. I actually really do like that hem a lot. Hmm. Maybe one day I will just bite the bullet, try and figure that one out. Or my excuse for everything that I wish I um, could pull off, but I can't, is I just wear it at home. <laughs> and then that's it. Okay, women's back elastic pant. That sounds like something I could get behind. I need the elastic in the back just to pull in the waist. So, I mean, that's a little cheap, right? I mean, that clearly was not intended to be cuffed because the line drawings don't have it that way. But maybe she's petite or shorter. And so they, instead of hemming them, rolled the pant leg. 
That's annoying. Ugh. Um, either way, I'm going to try and judge them without that. But you've got a fly front. You've got angled pockets. Oh, angled pockets are not great because see this here? That's what happens when you have curves and you wear an angled pocket. It never lays flat. You need the one that goes like this. That's like a, I don't know, like a long L. Hmm. But, okay, so that's what that is. Then on the back, uh, one of them has one welt pocket and another one has little pocket flaps. But they both have elastic in the back. And I promise you they won't show us the backs of an actual photo. But there you go. There they are. Hook and bar, a regular button, elastic, a zipper, lightweight wools, gabardine, linen, firm cotton fabrics, bottom weights, you know, the huge. And then here she is with her stupid rolled cuffs. Ugh, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed and don't feel like reviewing this one anymore because I feel like they just like threw it away and they were just like, eh, whatever. So I don't want to give that one any more of my time. <laughs> okay. Women's side gathered top. Oh, cute. Okay. I get you. So this is definitely a knit. I love this neckline. Um, you've got your, it's like the drawstring goes up through the side and down again and you tighten it all up and it gives you this beautiful draping effect along the front and the back. Um, really, really cute. Or this one has no drawstrings. Um, it's just straight. Also cute. Jersey knits. I love this for, a t for the t-shirt too. Lots of good options here for the Sew My Style thing. So many knits. I never expected that. But you can see there. I wish her hand weren't there. But um, kind of what happens and how it creates that, you know, cascading effect. If this, if you had the um, tunnel that the drawstring goes through go up higher, it would create this all along your front and kind of camouflage any little belly that you might have. And then there's that one. Sweet. Um, uh oh, what did I do? Sorry. Uh, sizes 20 through 30. So this is a plus size. Is that what we're calling it still? This is cute. Sizes 20 through 24. I love the proportions on this, this pant and top. This one, not so much. Uh, but what are we judging? The shirt. Okay. Um... So it's long, it's kind of a tunic length. I mean, certainly you can shorten it, both of them, but your options are this one with just a little bust start and a, you know, elbow length sleeve, or you've got your shorter sleeve and then this little overlay. And then nothing's happening on the back, just a little keyhole, which makes you think it's a um, woven, yeah, rayon, crepe, cotton, silk, uh, shank button, and then here she is. That's really cute. I love a loose flowy top. But you got to get the proportions right. Like a loose flowy top over like a skirt. I don't know about that. If this were shorter or maybe this version but tucked in, um, that would be cuter. Women's V-neck top. 20 through 24 again. Uh, yeah, so there's a little zipper there. So cute. Love that. And then you've got your little rolled sleeve here or just a regular, well, it's like wrist length. And I don't think it's intended to be high low. It's not drawn that way. Or is I can't tell which is which. Oh, it is high-low. This is this. So yeah, it is a little bit shorter, but not supposed to be scooped. So I'm guessing it's pulling 
back some, which is pulling up the center front. Um, and then this one, because it's more structured fabric, is, is holding itself down a little bit more. But this one is this one down here with just the little side slits on the bottom and the same length in the front and the back. So yeah, you can see that length difference there. I love the zip front so much. Little slit there too, cute. This is, I'm thinking, kind of like a linen, a lightweight linen. Very nice. Okay. Next. Yeah, I think these last few are just um, their plus size. The last couple plus size patterns. So we've got a cute little dress. She's so pretty. Uh, okay, <laughs> so her options are this little flutter sleeve or this little sleeve with a cuff and they have these little pleats on the neckline so cute and you've got a dress length with a little belt tie or a tunic length um, they have center back seams but no waist shaping so you can see is this a shift this is a shift dress right that's what i was trying to elaborate on earlier um, so you need a little shank button for your keyhole in the back. Um, viscose rayon, lightweight cotton crepe fabrics, bust starts. You guys are getting the hang of this now, right? Cute. I love that fabric with the little toucans. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That I'm sure is crepe, that blue one. Um, what else? Last one, I think, is this jersey dress. Look how nice this is. Super flattering. Um, and you've got princess seams in this slim skirt, so you can uh build in some natural shaping um so this one has this little twisty detail which i'm obsessed with this one just has a belt um but underneath the belt and i'm assuming underneath this is an elasticized waist in the front i think um and then like i said you've got these these uh princess seams in the front this one has a, turns into a slit in the bottom and then you've even got darts that come up um, on the back from the waist seam and bust darts here. So much more shaping in the plus size patterns, which I mean, makes sense. But since I'm like in between, I'm like the high end of a regular or a straight size um, and the low end of a plus size, you know, I wish that the straight sizes had more of that. But what can you do? All right, so jersey knit. A needs to have a good backing. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Two-way stretch jersey with a good backing. I don't even know. Um, maybe you can interface it. Maybe. I don't know. But there it is, it's pretty much pretty straightforward. But that little twisty thing is such a nice detail. But look at these darts and um, seam lines in the back. And yeah, did it say you needed elastic? Yeah, so there's elastic in there. I think it's only in the front though because on the back you can tell it doesn't have any wrinkly stuff. Hard to tell though. But yeah, center back zip too. I love this one. I love this one. Sizes 20 through 30. All right, now let's just make sure that that is it for the new women's, so costumes, dolls, pets, and now we're into simplicity. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'd love to try and find out Hold on, let me look around and see if I can find the sizing for Berta. Well, I don't see any sizing at all 
on Berta. They do have sizing for Simplicity, and Simplicity owns Berta, so I'm not entirely sure if all of their patterns would adopt the same fit. Like they even have this complete measurement guide, um, like a little PDF thing um, that walks you through how to find um, your size. But I mean, it's very clear that that is a simplicity guide. And these are Berta style patterns. So when you go to Berta style, um, which is the magazine's site, and they have completely different patterns here, you can get a um, size chart from here. But again, I don't know if those apply to the paper patterns in the envelope sold by Simplicity. So I'm gonna try and get some clarity on that um, and update you guys. If I can find the information, I'll update you in a future video and I will uh, also put it in the description box of this video. So look for an update there um, or an update in a future video, depending on when you're watching this, I guess. So anyways, um, I'll look into that more. But so far, or to, to kind of wrap up the spring collection for Berta Style, you know, like I said, I feel like this is a very back to basics collection and a lot of great stuff for beginners. Um, there are some of the to be expected weirdo Berta <laughs> patterns, but largely I think you could make a really great staple wardrobe. I will definitely be buying this jacket. I think that that is so cute and I know I'll get a ton of wear out of it. Um, and then some maybes were that peplum jacket, the twisty shoulder tie dress, the um, paper bag waist pants were another really good option. And some of these t-shirts, like I really loved the, um, what was it? The one with the tie, the bow on the neckline. I loved this one. I love the one that had like the frilly sleeves or whatever that was, the baby doll top. Um, so there's a lot of really, really good options in here that I am going to mull over um, and make some decisions, wait for a sale obviously, and, um, and uh, you know, add some new patterns, some new Berta patterns. I don't have a ton of them. So it'd be nice to add some more to my collection. So let me know what you guys thought of this collection, what your favorites were. Um, if you happen to know anything about Berta style from Simplicity's uh, sizing, please feel free to let me know um, and I will share with everyone else. But yeah, otherwise, let me know in the comments your favorite patterns, which ones you'll be buying up, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!